welcome to today's tip. Now we're going to be making a um, spider web for Halloween and for our pages. Now I've just got a ruler here and what I'm going to do is create a web but with every line I'm doing, I'm doing two because we're actually going to be using our um, craft knife to cut all of these lines out and if I don't have them in double lines then I'll end up cutting them out. So I'm just using my ruler to get those lovely straight lines that spider webs have and then I'm going to be just freehanding the sort of round bits that sit in the middle. And again, just use two lines so you know where not to cut. And then you will end up with something like that. I hope you can see that. And using my craft knife, I am going to cut out all of the negative parts. That's why it helps to have double lines. And one of the easiest ways I find with that is to work with all of my sort of similar lines first and then move on. Whoops. Don't do it on your craft sheet because you'll cut your craft sheet like I've just done. Um, work on all your down ones and then move to all of your other size ones. Now you can use your ruler if you wanted to on this one. You don't have to do it freehand. I'm happy with freehand but you might want to use your ruler just to get really nice and precise. Okay, when you have finished, you will have something like this and you can use either side. The pencil lines are quite nice because they look quite lovely on it looks like you've got a sparkly web and then you can just add it to your layout this is the one we did last week on a background i hope you love this one i certainly do it's a bit time consuming but if you don't have a die or a die cut machine with that particular shape you can create your own and that's the beauty of being able to do your own thing just with a craft knife and a piece of paper thanks for joining me happy halloween and i'll see you next time